to my previous statements. <laughs> right. Question number 10, Honourable Leanne Dalzell. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Canterbury Earthquake Recovery and asks, why is he offering only 50% of rating valuation for commercial or bare land in the residential red zone where the land could not be insured? Uh, Honourable Mr. Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, we're making a voluntary offer for that land that is many times in excess of its market, e excess of its market valuation and in line with offers made to uninsured parties. Supplementary yeah. question, Leanne Dozel. How does he explain to people like the Macleans, who had not started building on their land, why they have been treated so differently from their neighbours, who also could not insure their land, but were offered 100% of their rating valuation because they had started building? Yeah. Honourable Gary Brownlee. Mr Speaker, I can't know the detail of that at this point. I'd be happy to have a look at the particular circumstance. What I might do for the House is suggest that there will be different uh, insurance arrangements for people who own bare land and people who have started construction on that land. Supplementary you, question, Honourable Leanne Dozel. How does he tell a business owner who is fully insured that he will only be offered 50% of the rating valuation of the land when he or she would have been offered 100% if they operated their business from an insured residential dwelling. Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Well, Mr Speaker, that is the point. They weren't operating their business from an insured residential dwelling. They were operating their business from a commercial premises that now has very, very low land value. Supplementary question, Leanne Dozel. Will he extend the 31st of March deadline faced by these landowners so that they can carefully consider their options and so he can respond to Scott Robertson's plea on Campbell Live last night, I'd just like you to take your time and reconsider your decision. We're good, honest Kiwis that have done nothing wrong. Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Well, I think the first point is that Mr Robinson, I understand, has uh, property in the Port Hills and no offers have been made to those people. So there is no timeline for him to be concerned about. Now, on the other point, I'll repeat what I said before. Uh, we conducted a valuation of 4,136... Point of order. Honourable Leanne Mr Speaker, it is true that my question had two parts. The Minister responded to the second part. He is now responding to a part that I didn't ask. I said, will he extend the 31st of March deadline? The difficulty the member has is she asked a supplementary with two parts. The Minister is only required to answer one. But if you allow the Minister to finish, he may well answer the first part of that question. Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, in uh, June of 2012, uh, Sarah asked uh, valuers to value uh, 4,136 properties in the red zone. This was a land valuation. The valuation came in, sir, uh, at, on a per property base at about $2,600 per property. But on that basis, the 50% offer for the, uh, pr those properties based on the 2007 rating valuation is extremely generous. Point of order, Honourable Mr Leander. Speaker, as I said before, he answered the second part of my question. The, the first part of my question he has now not addressed at all, which is, will he extend order, the 31st of order. The difficulty, as I explained to the member, is if you put two sub parts to a supplementary, the minister only is required to answer one part, and the minister's done that. Quest, are there further supplementaries? Point of order, Honourable... Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table an email from Rebecca and Shane McLean, who now live in Te Atatū South, who had an empty section in Brooklands, who have been absolutely gutted after okay. waiting or for this decision. The member has described it sufficiently for the House. Leave us sought to table that email. Is there any objection? There is objection. Point of order, Honourable Leanne Dalzell. Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table the uh, letter of offer that Shane McLean received from Sarah, which on, on the that, 17th of that's January... That's the letter of offer from Sarah to a constituent. Is there any objection to that letter being tabled? There is not. May be tabled. We 
Point of order, Honourable Leanne Dozel. I seek leave to table the letter that I have uh, written to the Controller and Auditor General making a detailed series of complaints about the residential red leave zone Leave is sought office. to table a letter from the Honourable Leanne Dozel to the Auditor General on this matter. Is there any objection? No objection. Move to question number 11, Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker.